That was a place through. This is going to be the first tag video that I've initiated. I've been a part of a few other ones, but this is going to be the first one that I start off. So basically, there's going to be what is your gold standard? So knife lock, gold standard uh, tag. Uh, so this is going to go over. I put it into five categories. Uh, so you might not disagree with some of the ways that I organized it, but uh, the first one's going to be uh, slip joints, friction folders, and non-locking. And then we're going to go into button lock, then axis lock then uh, back lock, then triad lock, and then the last category is going to be uh, liner, frame lock, and compression lock, uh, and those are going to be the five categories that I put into it. So uh, the people that I'm going to be tagging on this video is going to be uh, the Knife Beater, Patty's Potato Peelers, and EDC with Aaron. Uh, so those are going to be the three channels. Uh, so now uh, if you do do a video, uh, then let me know and I'll put into uh, the playlist on my channel as well. So now everyone can watch everyone else's videos. And then uh, so now tag some other folks and then get involved in that. And then I would love to see what everybody has. And uh, no matter what your category is, what, no matter what your range is, um, on one of the categories, I would have had a San Renmu knife, uh, but I do have one on loan, which... Uh, kind of got into that category. So these are ones that you have currently in your possession uh, And then it's not one that you got rid of or had at one time. So it actually is one that you actually have uh, currently and So the first one we're going to go into is going to be the slip joint friction folder or non-locking knife And for this category, I have one uh, that is kind of a, an odd knife But it is it does have a locking mechanism that you could put on it, but it is a non-locking knife so this is the Boker. Uh, there's a Boker grip lock. So it actually has no lock to it. So that's gonna be the one that I have for that gold standard uh, for a non-locking knife. I don't have a lot in that category, but this is one that I would put into that as far as uh, that grouping uh, for that first one. So that's gonna be in the slip joints, friction folder, or non-locking. It's a Boker grip lock. Next one I have for the button lock. Uh, so uh, probably no uh, big surprise to some people that have watched the channel, but that one is going to be my CRKT Tie Tac 2. So this has probably the most opening options uh, for button lock. I just really love just fidgeting with this knife. And so that's going to be uh, for that category for button lock. And so that's going to be the CRKT Tie Tac 2. And then we have for back lock or triad lock. I actually don't have any triad lock knives, uh, but the one that I chose for this one uh, is going to be my Gerber uh, 39 series. Uh, so this one that actually, I'm just impressed with the action on it. So for a back lock knife to operate like that, uh, this is going to be uh, my gold standard for back locks. That's the Gerber 39. The next category is going to be the line lock, frame lock, or compression lock knife. And then that one is the one that I've had for a while. Um, it is going to be uh, one from CH. Uh, so this is my CH3001. This is a titanium version. So this one actually had also a sharpened by Mike Emler, which does the fair and forge sharpening. So I had it sent out to him. And that's the one I have here. So that's going to be the uh, for the uh, category of liner lock, frame lock, or compression lock. It's going to be my CH3001 in titanium. And then the last category uh, is going to be the access lock. Uh, so if I did not have this one on loan uh, from Mr. Blower One, uh, then I would be putting a satin ren renmu knife here. Uh, but since I have this one on loan, this is going to be uh, the knife that I put up. So there's a Benchmade 484S-1, the Nakamura. So I do prefer to have a, uh, a plain edge rather than the serrated, uh, but this knife uh, is one that really operates very well. And so that's gonna be that one for uh, the access lock, uh, which is the Benchmade 484S-1 Nakamura. Uh, so very good on that, so hopefully uh, we get a good variety of folks that put into it and then do let me know as far as that now uh, if you do put in a video uh, either send me a message send me an email 
um, reply to this video and then I'll add it to that playlist. But do thank you for your time and appreciate everything you guys do.